is Vibha Singh and I finished my PhD from ISA Pune in 2018. And after that, I have been a postdoctoral researcher at Institute Curie Paris, where I'm almost finishing my work now. So this is where uh, I'm placed right now. It's been almost six years of work that I'm doing here. So the lab works on the specialized uh, membrane structure called Caviole. And my project specifically looks at cell migration. So uh, we can imagine that in our body, uh, cells need to travel or migrate from place A to B to carry out different processes which are uh, necessary for uh, basic fundamental functioning. So uh, what happens in a pathological condition or such as cancer, uh, cells may not be able to uh, go to a targeted or a, uh, a destined uh, um, location. So um, there is an alteration in uh, the way cell is navigated and it leads to different kind of consequences. So what we are trying to understand uh, the effect of physical forces and these specialized structures called caviole on migration with a hope and aim to understand how it is regulated and then how it is deregulated in pathological conditions like cancer. And can we then understand uh, or kind of use this as a strategy, as an approach to, uh, to correct it? So this is my work like in a, in a nutshell. So I did my bachelor's from BHU Varanasi. After that, I did my MSc in, uh, in biochemistry from University of Pune itself. But after that, I did not start my PhD immediately after my master's. So I did a, a, a project at IIT Madras as a, as a junior research fellow and then subsequently a senior research fellow, which was actually kind of a quite a good learning experience also for me and also kind of gave, gave me exposure and a kind of understanding what research is all about and if I actually want to pursue this for, for my life. Um, so it was, uh, so after that, after my uh, project at IIT Madras, then I started, I applied for like various PhD programs and I got admitted at ISA Pune and I started my project, uh, PhD project with Dr. Nagraj uh, in the Department of Biology. So the lab of uh, Dr. Nagraj basically focused on looking at uh, integrin mediated signaling and how it affects different processes downstream. Uh, for my PhD project, it was looking at how integrin mediated uh, signaling and adhesion affects uh, organelle structure, specifically Golgi structure. So we uh, looked at when the when this integrin, which is bound to the uh, substrate, uh, when it is active versus inactive, and how it regulates the structure of Golgi and its function. It was um, interesting also and a little bit challenging because we were a new institute and a new lab. So we started to set up the lab, set up the project, set up different uh, kind of like protocols, optimize it. But in the end, it, it worked out well, I guess. We were able to finish the story and kind of uh, publish it within the tenure of my PhD. So yeah. The kind of training that we received during our PhD um, will, I suppose, help us in different phases of life uh, in future. But I would say PhD program at ISER is very well designed in uh, at various phases. So we had um, in the beginning, we also have to attend a few courses, but we were also involved in teaching to bachelor and master students. Plus also we did different kind of things like in the beginning, we had to do a literature review that kind of train us in how to read papers, how to approach it, how to based on what is available in the literature, how to come about in uh, designing a problem, which is also a very important part when you are doing research to ask uh, to ask the right question. So these kind of trainings in the beginning itself was uh, quite useful and also annual uh, thesis committee meetings that also helps you check, you know, how much you have progressed, what you have to do if you are stuck at some point and do you need to have a different approach. So these kind of trainings do help you in, you know, kind of like uh, navigating through your research journey. So all these various trainings during the PhD program definitely helps us 
when we uh, set out to do a postdoctoral uh, research, which is a little bit more independent, I would say, as compared to a PhD. But of course, with all the different experience and training uh, received during the PhD, it helps at different ways. So. I have a very fond memory of ISA. We we did spend a like quite a good amount of time during our PhD. Uh, so I think the campus itself is is beautiful, and it is it was uh, really nice to be on campus. Um, we did uh, change our lab twice uh, during my time. So we were at the Sai campus, Sai Trinity campus. We moved to. Uh, G1 building and then to the main building. So it was, uh, I think it was quite interesting to have different kind of um, options or activities available uh, either like scientifically or non-science related activities also. There was, I think every day, every week, there were like some of the other things that were happening that you can just hop in and join and just, just be a part of it. Um, I also uh, spent a lot of time in library also, especially in the beginning. Uh, so uh, it was a very nice collection of books and like a uh, nice option available if you want to just go and read and focus on your on your project. And also because it is you have like so many options immediately outside campus. You exit the campus and you have so many options at Banir and uh, Aund Road or also like it's quite well connected to other places. So uh, we used to go and watch a lot of movies nearby. Uh, there are a lot of like eating places which are available. So in the beginning when we joined, it was uh, still developing. I think by like midway through PhD, it was uh, it transformed into a completely different place like the surroundings of ISA. So I think we, we, there were like a like lot of uh, fun activities to do around in a very nearby uh, zone. So, and at uh, within the campus, we spent a lot of time um, at the MDP uh, coffee place. So we used to go there and hang out a lot. When we were at the Sai Trinity campus also, uh, even though it was smaller, but we used to spend a lot of time in the, in the small cafeteria having coffee and chit-chatting. So, yeah. So personally, I I don't think I faced any kind of uh, challenge or discrimination. But it is very uh, be because also like because I was associated at uh, with like at at, I at IIT Madras and then ISA Pune, which was I think they um, it was much more progressive in in many ways. Um, so I think we even if I compare like a decade back, um, I think things have kind of like evolved and in a, in a positive way. Uh, there's still um, a long way to go to be able to have equality in terms of like many different approach. Uh, so I think the representation has uh, kind of progressed over the years. Uh, for like for students, for uh, faculties, uh, you know, in, in, in within a lab, when you go for like meetings and conferences, I think the representation of women in uh, in academia has definitely progressed and evolved, which is a which is a positive thing. Um, we also, I think, we should be able to have much more integrative kind of approach and um, so that there are more women researchers in authoritative uh, places so they have you know like they are at a place or a position which is which has authority which has um, a role which could inspire like young girls to pursue this career i would say that it is evolving it has taken like some steps forward but there's a long way to go to be able to have a a balance, a good balance of with other uh, researchers. For me, I think, I mean, I still will always have a special place for me, of course, like because I did my PhD there. Um, as a community, as the, the kind of um, people uh, which are a part of of ISA. I think they are much more. Um, I mean, it's it's a wonderful it's a wonderful community, wonderful uh, uh, group of people who who are doing research there. And also, um, I think it was much more friendly place and very approachable uh, set of people. 
So um, not that BHU or IIT Madras or even in France, it's not like this, but somehow the whole uh, balance, the kind of um, uh, the kind of environment I had at ISER, it was the best so far. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I think a couple of months back, we got to know about the new uh, ICER alumni portal with when, it, when it was uh, launched. And um, I did attend some online uh, kind of uh, webinar uh, kind of setup uh, that I attended. I think it's a good initiative that we can develop further because now the institute is old enough uh, that we have people uh, who, are, who graduated from ICER Pune at different places, at different phases in their life. And students who are still uh, pursuing their research and activities at ISA, I think it, it's, it gives them kind of a platform to be able to reach out and to connect to people, um, to get different kind of perspective, different kind of like, you know, just awareness in terms of opportunities that they might have when they finish their studies. And also, uh, if say, if you have all these profiles put up there and you are really interested in a place or a kind of domain that you want to explore and you can you have direct uh, access to be able to connect and uh, discuss further uh, and also just just as a community to stay in touch to know what everybody is doing and uh, it's, it's it's a good uh, initiative to be able to develop it further i think i i receive like emails about different kind of job opportunities also that the alumni portal will be able to help if people want to either go back or even if people who are studying there and they want to explore more options say within Pune or within India uh, so I think it's a it's a good initiative to to be able to develop further.